Hey, this is Ewan, welcome back to The Shed. Uh, so today I want to have, do a quick video just on these. So, COB or Cob LEDs. Um, these came to my attention during my mini rack build. I was looking through, through some threads and Badlands over on FPV Hub um, had posted about these COB LEDs as he'd included them on the back of his uh, drag, mini drag, and it looked really good. Uh, so I went and had a, a look, followed the link that, that Badlands sent me. Um, I found that they're generally the smaller units are only available from China. So I ordered some, um, thinking, well, I'll just need to wait. Uh, but I was in a shop the other day and I spotted these little key rings, which have the COB units inside. Um, so today we'll have a wee look uh, a bit deeper as to what the COB LED uh, actually is. So first let's look at a standard diode. So these are electronic devices that are designed to only allow energy flow in one direction. Um, they have many uses, but the most basic example is a voltage polarity protection in circuits. So you may see them just after the power connection on a board. Um, and by blocking current flow in the wrong direction, they protect the circuit and essentially stop all the components on the board blowing up if you plug the power in the wrong way, which is quite handy. Um, so if you dissect a modern surface mount device, or SMD diode, you'd see something similar to this. Um, so you have the semiconductor chip itself, which is typically silicon for most diodes, which has bond wires onto a substrate which is effectively like a circuit board which connects to the device pins themselves. This is all encased in a solid black package. When you apply a forward bias voltage, um, the silicon junction will conduct and pass the energy through with minimal losses. So you do have some voltage drop which is typically around 0.7 volts um, when you forward bias the diode. But if you apply the voltage the other way, uh, the silicon won't conduct so no energy will flow. This is also true up to a point, but most diodes have a so-called reverse breakdown voltage, which if you exceed that, then the junction breaks down and allows current to flow in the wrong direction again. So if you look at then a light emitting diode or LED, then it's very similar operating principle, only this time it uses a different semiconductor material, which has specific properties that mean when you apply a forward voltage to it, the junction will conduct, but instead of passing the energy through it, it emits the energy in the form of photons, or light, but also heat as well. So, put a clear lens on it and you have an LED. Um, the semiconductor material itself can be tuned to emit different wavelengths of light, and that's how you get different colours and intensities of, of the LEDs. Okay, so this is the, the actual keyring unit here that I bought. Um, so it came in a pack of two and it was only four pounds for two, plus ba uh, including batteries as well, so that was quite nice. Um, but basically these are branded as half watt COB or COB LEDs. So C COB itself stands for chip on board LEDs. So if we look at a more traditional LED strip, you see there's each individual LED chip is packaged. What the COB LEDs or chip on board LEDs do is they have multiple chips bonded onto the one substrate. But effectively um, what you get is something that looks like a single source of light even though there's multiple LED chips on, on the device itself. Um, good thing about these little units so as you can see there's a switch which offers three different modes um, and I thought, you know what, I'll be able to take this apart so I did and here's what you end up with so the pack comes with a red and a white this is the white LED, uh, cob LED so you can see um, you have the actual LED strip itself so the cob LED and you can see just the small points of each of the chips and they're covered by the one um, lens effectively to to distribute the light evenly. Um, what this has is it has a little control board um, with a switch to control the different modes. I tried to figure out what this chip is. To me it looks like maybe a timer IC which will give the different modes or possibly a very small microcontroller but from the markings I couldn't figure out what this device actually was. Um, you see there's minimal circuitry and obviously the battery terminals um, connect on. It uses some coin cell batteries. Um, 
which basically are one and a half bolts each, so they just go in behind here. So there's two of those in series, which gives six bolts supply. And that, to me, is even more ideal because although it's six volts, we could probably run that at five volts, and it means that we have five volts is readily available from your BEC on your ESC. Okay, so I've hooked this unit up. I've uh, just soldered two wires on, and I've hooked it up to my power supply just to give an indication of, of how much power these actually draw when running. So that, as I said, this was stated as a half watt LED. Uh, you can get three watt and even up to 10 watt versions of these. Um, but I think for um, just being able to see the plane, half watt is actually quite bright, so hopefully that will be plenty. The ones I've ordered from China are actually three watt, so they should be even brighter again. But if we switch on, you'll see nothing happens to begin with. Um, but pushing the switch gives you the hot fully on. Um, and you can see there, at fully on, we're drawing 200. 13 uh, milliamps at 5 volts. So if we go onto the slightly lower power version, um, I can barely see that because my, <laughs> I've been blinded by the LEDs, but um, we're drawing about 53 milliamps at the lower power setting. Now, the one I'm most interested in is the flashing. I think flashing gives you a much better visibility. Um, as you can see, drawing between sort of 100 to 115 milliamps um, on the flashing setting. So I think that's that's okay, I'm okay with that. Um, the ESC that I'm using has a built-in BEC, which I'm not using for the servos as I'm using a separate BEC, so I think the ESC BEC will be more than capable of driving the two, so the white and also the red LEDs on the back of my mini -drack. Um So hopefully that gives you a good introduction these things. I think for four pounds, um, given the fact that you get two of these uh, devices in the pack, they've got the, the switching modes. Uh, the ones that I've ordered are just the COB module itself, so you've got no option unless you hooked up some other external circuitry to be able to switch modes. Um, so yeah, if, if, you, if you're looking for these COB modules and you see some of these cheap sort of um, flashlights or LED lights, um, generally you can take them apart and just supply an external voltage to them and they'll still work as you, you expect them to. So let's go and get this put on the mini rack. So I'm pretty pleased with the way that's turned out, um, you can see they look pretty visible I would say, um, the flashing mode I think is, is even better so hopefully during the day they should give good visibility. But essentially the COB LEDs, the actual technology that's in them is no different to your standard LEDs that you'll have on LED strips or, or anything else, um, the only difference really is the way that they're assembled and packaged, so you have the one substrate with many different LED chips. Hopefully that's been a good introduction uh, to the COB LEDs and hopefully you'll see some videos of this guy flying as well soon. So thanks for watching, goodbye.